in this video, we're going to charge a capacitor. We're going to charge it through an LED that's controlled by a switch, protected by a resistor, of course. And uh, then we're going to discharge the capacitor. So again, we're going to do that through an LED. That way we can see an LED light up while it's charging and see it light up while it is discharging because you can't really see electricity so it's nice to have LEDs to give you a little indication of when there's current flow. So now building it on the breadboard I really like these uh, little switches so we got the uh, switch there. VCC is the positive side of the power supply and so I got this orange jumper to the positive side that terminology comes from transistors but you see it a lot in other circuits so that's the collector side of a transistor double C meaning the uh, power supply connected to it which is generally almost always the positive rail so I got the switch there it really only fits in the proper direction and its pins are a little big so you can see the boards kind of pushing it out but uh, it it will snap into there so I've inserted and removed that a number of times and so it's doing better than it would the first time but uh, in any case let's get on to the capacitor so just for spacing reasons to uh, see what we're doing so you can see the capacitor there the negative side of the capacitor goes to the negative rail ground in this circuit this is a DC supply and uh, we're just using direct current and so we will zoom in there and take the uh, capacitor and I'm going to put the positive side right down here because we're going to add the other switch I like to straddle the uh, gaps there so I'm going to put the negative side this is a 1000 microfarad capacitor by the way that's the largest value regular capacitor I have I have super capacitors that are a lot larger value now the uh, switch has a resistor going to an LED so LEDs take up two spots next to each other unless you stretch the uh, pins out but I try to avoid doing that so I'm gonna take a 1000 ohm 1 kilo ohm resistor actually let's use this one and so I'm gonna go to the switch and then one spot away from the capacitor right there and I'm gonna grab an LED and I'm gonna use red to begin with long lead the anode there goes to the resistor short lead the cathode goes to the capacitor now I'm going to grab the other switch as you can see there and just do the same thing I did with the uh, first switch so we're going to go where we're above and below this gap right there top of the switch connects to where that capacitor is right there so right now I have the power supply set to 15 volts because as you can see there we'll charge this you can see that uh, current quickly went down now there's no current because it is charged so now that we got it charged we can't do anything let's get on to discharging it so we have this circuitry right here and uh, so we already have the switch and uh, we're gonna put a resistor one spot away from the negative rail from ground right there because the uh, LED will fill the uh, gap so we'll move in and as I said before we'll go one space away from that jumper down there but connecting to the bottom of the switch there and you do have to put the switch in the right way it's always connected on top it's always connected on bottom top to bottom connect when you press the switch and so we got the uh, red LED there and now when I hit the button it discharges so we can see if the capacitor is discharging we can see when it is charging if I press both buttons now currents flowing through this circuitry here the capacitor is charged to probably exactly half of the supply voltage there when we charge it up it'll be charged to the supply voltage 15 volts minus 2 volts for the LED the LED drops about 2 volts and then now we are going from the positive side of the capacitor to the negative side well it discharges so we don't even need the uh, power supply at all well it is discharging so let's uh, demonstrate that really quick I'll charge it up and so it is storing charge 
that is the main thing and normally you don't use regular capacitors to store charge to power stuff but we're gonna do that in this circuit you can see that's all the power so we don't have the power supply to the rails at all it's just discharging it's providing all the power so when the capacitor is discharging it's providing all the power we can't charge it now until we get these back here so we can use a pretty high voltage actually because as you can see current was up for a bit and then dropped down rapidly and then can't even see oh yeah you wouldn't see the current down there because the power supply is not providing it so if you watch this you'll see probably I think seven milliamps right there and it quickly drops down drops down rapidly so the voltage change of the capacitor is actually changing rapidly at first and then slower later so those are red LEDs they're really not the best for this as you can see they they weren't terribly bright we're gonna take green LEDs we'll actually have less current flow less voltage changes and I think that was already charged there you go so discharging you can see it's very bright and it's staying bright now we're gonna charge it you can see current still dropping quickly and uh, we're below a one milliamp the green LED stays lit up a bit so this ran longer than I expected but there's a fair amount to this circuit a lot more to study if you want to study in detail but this is one of the quick videos so I'll post some other videos on the screen make sure you check those out and uh, subscribe click the bell whatnot I will see you in the next video